What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to talk about something huge, something massive, and something that is near and dear to every ESO player's heart, even if they don't realize it, and why I think that this is such exciting news for us to talk about here today. So, before we jump into that, I just want to thank you guys because we are plugging towards the 13,000 subscriber mark. Thank you guys for those of you who subscribed. I'm just overall still elated, ecstatic for all the work and that you guys have done and helped for the channel. I won't, you know, sit here and, you know, fondle you too much because we got a lot to talk about. So the biggest thing that I wanted to talk about after the ESO Live event is achievements. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, Jake, developers have a lot of weird opinions on achievements. And I went undercover as just a random guy in Las Vegas asking the, asking the real questions. Tell us about achievements. Tell us about what your thoughts are. What are you putting in achievements? What are your thoughts on achievements? Because achievements are a massive part of the Elder Scrolls Online game that doesn't get a lot of discussion. And as the developers actively put in new rewards, such as the two new mounts, which they're putting into achievement rewards for Necrom, I feel as though we need to use this opportunity to talk about achievements and say what we want and what we don't want. because. A lot of people at that event were giving their opinion, and the developers were taking that, and that's how we ended up with two new mounts in the Necrom release locked behind achievements. One will be a relatively straightforward achievement that pretty much everyone will be able to do, according to the developers, and the second one is going to require a trifecta run of the newest trial, which granted, a little bit more difficult, but that's the developers taking our opinion on achievements and implementing it into a new release. Why is that so important? Is because there are so many things. There's titles, dyes, consumables, skins, personalities, mounts. You know, there's new daily quest rewards that you can receive. I'm very passionate about my daily quests and I'm very passionate indeed about my achievement rewards. So, whenever they link together, that's obviously a beautiful thing. And I have videos covering the best achievement rewards because many people don't even know how many cool achievement rewards there are but here's the thing we need to let the developers know when they do implement good achievement rewards why because we know that they're listening they directly said we're listening we want to implement world rewards and locked behind you doing a specific achievement whether it's a quest a daily quest an achievement for killing 50 chickens you know inside a city whether it's using the Blade of Woe 69 times, whether it's stealing 420 gold, whatever other pop culture funny number references I can think of off the top of my head, whatever you can think of, we just need to make sure that they're putting in good rewards for us. And my thing is, is that I just want to, again, as I did in my previous video, encourage you guys, if you have opinions, go onto the forums and talk about it. You can always raise your opinion and say, look, and this was raised yesterday at the event, there's a lot of cool skins. However, a lot of them look ugly or evil. We want skins that look better or beautiful, I believe is the word that they use. And the developer said, you know, now that you say that, yeah, a lot of the skins look striven, ugly, zombie-esque, and they're going to take that feedback and directly implement it into the game. And this is why this was such a, a key event and a pivotal event, in my opinion, because we were able to directly get that developer feedback, which I think was so helpful um, overall. And that's where I'm very happy about the future prospects of achievements and whatnot. But what my point to you is, is that if you really like certain types of achievements and certain type of achievement rewards, now is the time to let the developers know, I really like these achievement rewards, I like the ones where if I get, you know, the hollowed moons, I can get not only a dive, but I can go into a zone and I can get, you know, specific furnishings attached to it. Some of you may not know this if you haven't watched my achievement video. There's actually furnishings that are locked behind your ability to get certain types of achievement rewards. Some of those will then open up in different zones. So there's so many cool nitty gritty things that are here, but not a lot of people know about it as much. So my job is kind of twofold in this video to educate you and to have that discussion about achievements, but also to encourage you guys to voice your opinion and to watch my other video on achievements if you want to see some cool rewards that you're able to get because I think that rewards are cool, you know? But dear friends, that is actually the main topic of the video that I wanted to kind of go over with you. 
obviously this is a very complex subject, but I'm just so excited that the developers are actively changing achievement rewards. They're looking at it holistically and saying, how can we make this more exciting? How can we change this? What rewards do players want? You can tell that at that AMA that they thought players want mounts. And that, I think that's true. However, if you're thinking to yourself, man, I really think it would be cool if they added more and then insert whatever your brain is thinking right now. What are you thinking right now? I can't tell you that. That's up to you. What I'm thinking is, is how can I convince you to subscribe based on these final statements in my video? If I offer you a cookie, would that do it? That's up to you. But I do want to thank you guys again for you know everything that you've done for this channel. I am so appreciative of everything that we've been able to accomplish. So because of that, we are changing the giveaway. So the giveaway winners are still the same three things that you normally do. The first one is a random comment. Every comment that is not deleted for spam is entered equally. So as long as your comment is not deleted uh, automatically by YouTube, you're entered. The second one is a random subscriber. You can subscribe on as many counts as you want. You know, load up your grandma's. Hey, what's up? You know, do whatever you got to do. And uh, they're all entered equally as well. And the third one is my favorite comment of the month, which is admittedly totally subjective. However, however, so it used to be we just gave you 20 bucks. I'd slide it to you. You'd walk away with your money. Now I'm offering something a little bit different. If you're interested, you're also able to get merchandise. If you would like Elder Scrolls Online merchandise sent straight to you, that is something that I'm going to be offering, you know, kind of going forward. Because after getting some of the cool rewards at the Zenimax event, I thought to myself, it's, it's kind of cool to actually have something that you can hold and that you can physically kind of, you know, have in your hands and interact with. I, thought, I was like, I like this. So that's my offer to you to any giveaway winner. And we'll talk about that kind of in the ongoing videos um, here. And uh, again, thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you for watching. And put your suggestions as a question of the day in the comments below. What do you think? they should add as an achievement reward. And potentially, I will make a total form post page about it, about my thinking of what should be an achievement rewards, how they should be unlocked, and so on and so forth. That way, your voices in the comments below can be heard, um, because that's why we have this channel, is to make sure that everyone's voice is heard, regardless of if they're on NA, EU, Xbox, PlayStation, PC, etc. Level 1, level 3, level 60 level 160, level 500, level 3000, you know, you're all the same to me. I love you all equally, except, you know, as every parent would say, they always have their one favorite kid, joking, but thanks again, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye, guys. Better remember to like and subscribe to Jake Clips, or you should. I might have to pluck your eyes if you don't, or better yet, I'll skip rope with your entrails. Do it now. Subscribe. Ta-ta. Off with you. Don't ask me why I changed the post-outro scene to be like Star Wars. Maybe it's just really enjoyed the newest episode of The Mandalorian, but that's why it's different. Also, we don't have the gaming chair yet. It's actually right there set up, but I have to like move this couch over, and then I'm going to move the chair here, and then I'm going to move this up. It just worked late today, so I was obviously off last week, so I haven't done it yet, but it's on the cards. It'll happen soon. You'll be actually see me in a real chair. Um, and the chair is yellow and black, but do not assume that those are Dominion colors. For the love of God, I will ban you from the channel if you make such assumptions. Yellow is just a good color. It's got gold. Like YouTube Jake Gold. He's gold banking guide guy. Gold, not Dominion. Gold. But thanks again for listening to my post-outro rambles. I love you. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.